what I'd like to start to do is break up my code using functions, and that just allows me to take out little subsections of code that do particular tasks um, that I would normally be repeating, and I pull them out into their own little sections. So I've got my usual function here, which is main, and if I want to write another one, I just make sure I'm outside main, but still inside of my class, and I'm going to write public static void. Let's just call this fun for function, and inside here I put whatever code I would like it to do. So let me just write... Hello. All right. Um, and what we can see is, I'm actually going to copy this because I want to write a bunch of print lines later. Um, if I run this program now, I might be expecting that my function will actually work, but I see that nothing happens down here on my console, and that's because simply defining a function, which is what I've done here, does not actually make it execute. To get it to execute, I have to do what's called calling it. Um, up in main. So to call a function, all you have to write is the name of the function and some parentheses. Um, and this is called calling, or if you're sort of a little bit nerdy, you might like to call it invoking, because that sounds way more uh, snazzy. So I'm invoking the function, and that makes it just jump down, do what's in here, and jump back up. So if I try this now, then down in my uh, console window, I've got the word hello. Now, if I want to sort of see where this is going as it runs the code. Let's say this is before the function. This is after the function. So you can see if you run this guy that it prints my text from before the function. So it does this line. When it hits the call to the function, it actually zips down, does whatever's inside of here, zips back up to right where it left off, and does whatever lines are left over in main. So I can um, define a particular function one time, but I can actually call it as many times as I like. So if I would like to call this multiple times, and when I run it, it'll keep zipping back down and doing the action that's inside the function. Of course, we know this is sort of cruddy because we could do this with a little loop, and it would be much better uh, for us. And then we could alter it a lot. And so this will run in a loop now, and it will keep calling the function inside that loop. And if I make this a loop, then I get myself the freedom to, you know, do something ridiculous, like run it 100 times, and it's going to scroll my console. Um, but that lets me just keep calling it over and over. So I can define a function one time. I can call it as many times as I want. I can define another function, um, as many as I want, in fact. So I could have a public static void fun 2, and we can have this guy print, uh, goodbye. So let's have this happen here. Fun 2. And again, I can call this guy as many times as I want. So when I run my code now, it prints all my stuff, gets to my after the function line, and then I've got actually another function called down to Fun 2, so it'll jump down here and print out goodbye. So that is sort of the basics of how you structure and then call functions. Um, one other thing I want to show you is you don't have to call them from main. You can call them from each other. So if I wanted to do something really nutty, I could go inside fun one, uh, fun, and I could call fun2 right here. So it's going to say hello, jump down here, say goodbye, jump back up to where the control was. So if I run this now, I'm going to have a bunch of hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. So functions can call each other. They don't all have to be called or invoked from main.